So we have our calculator that can actually clear the input. Now what we want is to add a total that, that will increase or decrease when we add plus or minus, right? And to add a total, we actually need another object to hold the total, okay? That object, we'll call it the model. It models the data behind the calculator. What is the data of a calculator? Well, just a number. It's the result, right? So this will model the, the, um, the data of the calculator and we'll call it total, okay? So we have to create a new class, total, here. Okay, we'll create a new class, um, public class total. I'm going to save this as total.java. And what I will do with this class, okay, is I will create a um, public class total will basically be a class that has a um, an int we'll just we'll just do computations with ints to simplify this private int total that it'll hold the total and then it'll have methods to initialize the total to get the total um, to add to the total to subtract to the total to clear the total and to display it as a string because that's uh, that's what we ultimately want to ultimately want to do okay so so in the end, when it's all said and done, this class will basically look like this. Okay, we have uh, an int total. We have a constructor total that receives an integer and sets the the internal integer to that uh, init parameter. We have a get total, which basically returns that integer just in case we need it. We have an add with an integer. What happens is this add method will add this num to that total. You see that here. We have a minus method that will basically subtract that num from the total. We have a clear that will actually set the total back to zero. And we have a two string that basically returns that total in string form as opposed to uh, an integer. Now that we have the total, we can change our clear function, our clear action, I'm sorry, clear action listener, to actually receive a total object. A total object will create a total tot here, or total, and then tot here. And what we will do is we'll say this this dot total equals tot. And then, when in the action perform, mainly when the user clicks, what we're going to do is we're going to say this dot total equals, uh, um, I'm sorry, dot clear. Remember, the total object here has a method clear that will reset it to zero. So we not only set the text to blank, but we also set the uh, total to. Uh, we'll just clear the total, okay? So, uh, we can just print it just so just so we see what happens. So system, um, well, we'll say here, system.out.println setting total from, and then whatever that was, this.total.get total. To zero. Okay, so we're going to set that total to zero. And we can see this working in the GUI, right? So we'll compile this. Whoops. Now I'm not just passing the input, but I'm also passing a total. Let's create a total variable here. Whoops. Before that, here. Total tot equals new total zero. So that's that's our total. We'll, we'll initialize. It. Let's initialize it to 45 just just to see the effect of the clear. Let's compile this. Um, and I have one bit here. Okay, yeah. Total. I need to pass this. I'm sorry. Taught. I need to pass now a J um, 
text field and the total because that's how I coded it here. The J field and the total. Okay. So let's compile this and execute it. And let's say whatever whatever we have here. Remember the total was initialized to 45, right? Right above this window. It's right there. Okay. So when I click C, the output should say setting total from 45 to 0, right? So from whatever it was to 0. Okay, but now that we have this total, what we can do also is another uh, event handler or action listener that will actually increase or decrease that total by the number in the text field. Okay, so what I will create is another action listener, so sort of mimicking this action listener, but will be for arithmetic operations. So I'll create a new class and um, I'll say public class uh, compute action listener okay we'll implement uh, action listener I'll save this as uh, compute action listener dot job now to be able to implement action listener and to be able to do everything that I need to do, I basically need my uh, regulars, right? Import javax swing.star and import java.awt.event.star. All right, now I'm going to create a class that will take care of adding or subtracting depending on, on something. Because I want to put the result in a um, in a text field, I can say J text field text. I can have two private variables here, total tot, or I can call it total, that's fine. Two private variables, and then a constructor here, public compute action listener, J text field T, and total tot. What I will do here is basically just initialize these things or set set them right. So text equals t and tot total equals tot. Okay. So basically, when I create a compute action listener, I will pass the text field where I want to put the result and the total where actually model where I'm actually modeling the result. Okay. So um, now, what happens when I click on a button? That has um, that has an action a compute action listener as its uh, event handler. Well, we have to implement the method action performed action event e. And here's a couple of things that we're going to talk about. First, the event has a um, <clears throat> has several properties. Okay, this event, this action event. Because an action performed can come from a click, can come from a hover, can come from a lot of events that can happen. So let's first see, well, if this action event came from a J button, we are going to try and do a couple of things. So I can say if e.get source, that tells me the class, what kind of object that source is. If the get source is an instance of J button, instance of his Java operator that tells me basically if the source that I got is of kind J button then what I'm going to do is I will create a J button uh, uh, clicked okay that that's the name of the J button and that's gonna be J button e dot get source what I'm doing here is Whatever the source of the event was, I'm casting it to a J button because I want to examine whether that button was the plus button or the minus button. So I need to, I need to ha I need a, a link to that. I need to handle that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> also, I'm going to have a representation of the number. Okay, of the number in the text field, and this will be integer dot parse int text dot get 
text. This line here. So one line is what's the button the button that was clicked and the other line is the actual number that is contained in the text field. Okay? Now that I have those two components, I can say well if clicked basic the button, right? Get text. This will get me the text on top of the button. Equals plus. So if the button clicked had the plus sign on, to, uh, on it, okay, then what I will do is I'm going to say total dot add and then the number. I'm going to add the number. Total dot add. Remember what that did was I'm going to go back to the total class. Total dot add. You give it a number and it will add it to this total. Okay. Total that that number. Now, else <coughs> if click dot get text is equals to the minus button, okay, then total dot minus num. So I'm going to subtract the number, okay? Then what I need to do after this is to set the text to the new total. So text dot set text total dot to string, okay? So if somebody, if a button implements the action listener, okay, the, the compute action listener, what's going to happen is on click it'll say, hey, are you a button? If you are a button, then let's cast you down to a button. Let's get the integer that is actually in the text field. And what we'll do is, if the button clicked has the plus sign as its uh, face, as its text, then we'll add that number that we got. If the button is equal to a minus sign, then we'll subtract that number using the methods of the total object, which is that object that we're, that's going to hold the total, the model. And then, once we compute the total, we'll set the text back to the total, okay, to the, that total string. So let's compile this. And we have uh, an error. Oh, it's not an action lister. It's an action list. Uh, okay. <clears throat> now, we have this action listener and it's fine and everything, but we need to attach it to the buttons. So in my GUI calc, okay, I'm going to say plus dot add action listener new compute action listener and the parameters that I pass are the text field and the total. Okay. And here for the minus button, minus that add action listener, new compute action listener, input total. Okay, so I have added the action list, the compute action listener to both the plus and the minus. I could have created action listeners, separate action listeners to plus and minus, but I just created one that actually handles whether the button has a plus in the text or a minus. And that's the correct thing. So let's compile this. And um, total is not there. Oh, it's called tut here. Okay. Tut. Tut. Compile. Run. And we'll see what happens. Um, oh, I have initialized the total to 45. Let me initialize it to uh, zero so we, we, see the, the, we see a correct implementation of this. Initialize the total to zero. All right, now we compile, we execute, and here's the calculator. We have nothing there, so if I say four and then plus, it will be added to the total, so the total is four. Now, if I add to that total five, if I say plus, then the total is going to be nine because it'd be added to, added to the four that was previously there, and that's nine. If I say C, that's going to clear that, and it said and it'll, the, the output will say setting total from 9 to 0. Then I'm going to say um, 56, I'm going to add 56, and then I'm going to add 44, and that's going to be 100. Then to that 100 I'm going to subtract 9, and that's going to be 91, right? So it's performing everything, and then clear, and it says setting total from 91 to 0. So we have created a calculator. We are using a custom class to hold the values of the calculator, basically the data there, the model. We have 
added actual listeners here, okay? Actual listeners that actually link the, the visual components to the actual model, okay? The actual listeners link the visual components to the actual model. This is the beginnings of a framework called Model View Controller. I advise you see it and you uh, take a look at that. I will try to create a new video where we make this whole calculator into a full model view controller um, structure. We're very close to it. We have a model, which is this total, and we have controllers or something that, or, or things that control the buttons to some extent and actually link the viewable components like the input to the representation, which is the total. All right, that's it for now. Bye.